Yes, a bishop. Well, why don't you sit down and we can talk? I'm sure pawn of 51 will be a little longer at the least. Hey, I will drop. Good man. So what can I help you with? <sighs> yes, sir. We all have. Terribly unfortunate business. But let's first wait until Kendra gets back before we discuss that. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, Kendra. I truly hope that everything is okay. Everything's fine. Now it is, at least. Okay, Bishop, it was nice talking to you and everything, but can you please let the lady sit? Thank you. Hey, are you ready to experience how tables can be turned? You're dreaming, old man. Now, let's see. Was it my move? Yes, it was. And, uh, please, take your time. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, Kendra. I truly hope that everything is okay. Everything's fine. Now it is, at least. Ouch! Damn it, Zen! Don't touch it there, I get it. Blimey. Stop that, way. Hello, B. I'm down in Lower Avionics trying to repair this bloody ship's automated defenses. And big surprise, she isn't cooperating. Oh, and I can't unlock the hatch, so don't ask. Safety protocols and all that. Ah, well. If she doesn't start cooperating, I'm gonna pour a drink all over her main board. I love you too, Wayne. <laughs> anyway, try not to get your kitty snort all over my buttons and switches. And stay out of my chair. <laughs> hey now, did I say you could sit in my throne? Well, since you're already sitting, how'd you like it? Pretty comfy, isn't it? Well, if heaven is made of Canadian hemp and velvet, and it probably is, then yeah. Ah! Come on, Zen! Stop doing that! <clears throat> How about, uh, we pretend like you never saw that, okay? If I left it on. And if the boss ever finds out you did see it, she'll likely kill us both. So between us, yeah? And do your best not to touch anything else. You're likely to crush the bloody plane with your luck. Ah, no, B. There's nothing going on between us. That video was filmed over a year ago and was... Well, it was after a particularly difficult day and a few glasses of wine. You really want to hear the story? Because I'll tell you if you want to hear it. Ah, about 14 months ago, we were sent into a little nothing town called Gaborone in Botswana. Right along the southern border with South Africa. We were there to mediate a peace treaty between Botswana and South African governments. They'd been fighting pretty brutally since the resource wars. Well, Night 15 and Bishop 8 went in, expecting nothing more than a sit down with the two country leaders. Discuss their strengths, how they can work together, that sort of thing. Botswana and rebels came rolling in, and I spent two hours avoiding Chinese-made surface-to-air tactical missiles, while Knight 15 and Bishop 8 protected delegates on both sides. Of course, they weren't opposed to peace or the purpose of the conference. They were there to make a statement to the world, to highlight all the shite the two countries have been thrown at each other since the wars. They took advantage of our presence, and used us to make the press pay attention. It worked. All right, well, back to work. If I don't get this thing fixed soon, we could be in a world of hurt when another Angeloff decides to drop in and say hi. And these bloody glitches sure aren't making things any easier. A virus? No. More likely it's a software bug from my last repair. My girl would pick up an honest-to-god virus. Sensors would be going off all over the place. As it stands, the sensors are showing seemingly random fluctuations in very minor systems. I 
haven't left the cockpit all day. Oh Christ, could be Spike in the cockpit, blocking me out, of course. I've been so preoccupied I should have thought of that. Oh, did I hear that right? A bishop aiming to be helpful? <laughs> well, it's certainly a relief to know you're not all ego-driven hotheads. So, all I want you to do is observe instances of this so-called virus. When you see something, let me know of the CMC. Show me, uh, I don't know, five different particularly bad examples. And hey, have fun! I'm really very busy right now. Do you mind? Oh yes, it is. Rainbows and unicorns, in fact. <sighs> sure, Bishop. What can I do for you? Look, I don't exactly have time for this right now. Is this a joke? Did Pound 44 put you up to this? You bitch! Call them off my sister! The bishop knows what you did to Matthew. How you cracked his skull open and then smiled as he died at your feet! Admit it! Tell the bishop what you did! What is your problem for? I thought... Oh, wait. I see now. If you accuse me, then there's no way to prove you wrong, is that it? We were together all day. It sure would get you out of being investigated, wouldn't it? Don't listen to her, Bishop. She's poison. I followed her into Bishop Eight's old cabin and found her... found her standing over his body. She... she... That's a lie! Both of you, shut up! I can't believe this! You're just going to believe her because... nobody likes me? This is bullshit! Route 25, control your people. Yes, sir. Okay, that's enough. I have a big enough headache as it is. Sorry, and Bishop, you can I know you but I so would appreciate it if you'd stop by Global Ops for just a few minutes. The, investigators in Ireland. the Queen would like to Anna, speak please. with you. you, you There's no immediate rush, this. whenever you're able. Oh, I'm not. If you want to stay within eyeshot of Pawn 32, by all means do so. But you have to investigate. At least go through her stuff. Uh, look for a... Uh, I don't know, a, a bomb or something? Get back to work! Forget it. I, I'm done with you people. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I'm not entirely ruling him out. Get back to work! If you're here to question my people, wait for them to finish. If you're here to question me, do it later. <clears throat> the bishop doesn't need to say goodbye. I get it. Are you here to help, or just wandering aimlessly? That's about right. It shouldn't take long. What do you say? Good. We can use the help. Go ahead and access the chip locker over there, by the brig. I've unlocked it for you, and you're going to need a stack of fresh data chips. And you too. I want this done by the time I get back. In other words, I want you out of here and back to work elsewhere. Roger that. Consider it done. Nashku. Well now, what the heck does that mean? Oh, nothing. So, Bishop, I hear you embarrassed poor Pond 11 here. That must have been something to see. Was it? I'm sure it was. I really have no doubt. Are you done? Why do I even speak to you?
No. Oh. <laughs> Laugh at Adele and her ingenuity all you want. Everyone else around here only thinks they are smart. Bishop, do you remember the tune I was whistling before you? Uh, well, when you found me in the brig? The one you said was Jeremy Sewell? The same tune she's hearing is also stuck in my head. The very same one! And believe me when I say I know my VR games. I know them like, uh, like something I know really well. And I especially know Jeremy Soule's work. And what is in our heads is something I've never heard in any game before. I can swear by it. Isn't that strange? What made you say it was Jeremy Soule? No, no way. I've got everything he's ever done, right back to the secret of Evermore. I'm telling you, it's not him. It does not matter, Charlie. I'm sure it's nothing. Hold on a second. I think we're about finished here. Yep, just one more. Bingo! And that, as they say, is all she wrote. All who wrote? <laughs> Never mind. I think we did good work here. Rook 9 should be happier than a wirehead on Black Friday. Yes, yes, well done to us. So, Bishop, I suppose you'd like to now know who we think is responsible for Pawn 7. Rook 25 did say you've been tasked to speak with us, yes? I do not have an alibi, if this is what you need. Other than to say I was working. When it happened, I was doing my rounds. I could have been anywhere. And I was in the barracks playing peacecraft with my brother. Several people saw me there, and I never left until Night 15 herded us to mission ops. Well enough, I suppose. He was, how do you say, a bit of a mother's boy? I do not understand killing someone so innocent. It is very troubling. Mother's boy? Oh god, and that reminds me, who's gonna tell his parents? I can't do it, I don't have it in me, no way. Right, yeah, of course it would. I... Well, we've just never seen death aboard this plane before. Today changes things, and I'll bet they'll have cameras aboard in no time. Yep, in no time at all. You are wasting your time with us, Bishop. Go and talk with Pawn 64. I would put all my money on him at least knowing something. Wait a second, you don't know that. He is a friend of mine, and I know he could never do it. Never. No way, not a chance. I know people, Adele, and I know you're wrong. Uh, maybe you're not the best judge of character after all. So he's got something personal going on that he'd rather not talk about. It doesn't make him a killer. <sighs> I am not accusing anyone, but he has been acting unusual. Distant, abrasive, something has him frightened. Maybe Pawn 7 caught 64 doing something he should not have been doing. Hmm? Like maybe he was contacting Angelov. Uh, Adele? No, Charlie. Listen to me. This is important. Do you remember how you thought the bishop embarrassed you in the brig earlier? <sighs> You truly don't know when to stop with the jokes, do you? Oh, uh, well, if you just turn around right now, you can discover what real embarrassment feels like. Homer. Hi. Go ahead. Wait, yes. Okay? No problem. I'm on it. Well, uh, duty calls. Hmm. Did I get that one right, Charlie? Duty calls? Haha, <laughs> perfect! And yeah, I should probably get back to work as well. Lots to do. Take care, Bishop. And watch your back. Don't let her bother you. She's all right. She thinks I killed Pawn 7 and helped Angelo. She is not all right. <laughs> Nobody actually believes that. Don't be ridiculous. She was just blowing off some steam, releasing some of that tension we're all feeling today. I know you don't believe it, my friend. And I understand I haven't been myself lately. But I promise you, have nothing to worry about. Okay? Well, all right. But if I have nothing to worry about, then you stop being so grumpy. It doesn't suit you. I don't suppose you want to tell me what else they said. I think it does matter. Do you think she'll speak to anyone else? Night 15, Rook 25 maybe. I only need to stay off the radar a little while longer. Not now, and certainly not here. Okay, so look Bishop, I'm sorry, but for now, just, just keep away from me, please. <laughs> 